Hey, God bless. You may be seated. <clears throat> hey, put my Easter bunny up because it's Easter Sunday. The most important holy day of the year for everybody. We're going to start out with a little homily and opening prayer. Yesterday, Holy Saturday, well, good Friday. It starts Good Friday, right? Good Friday is the day Jesus died, was crucified, died, and was buried. Holy Saturday is the day he descended into hell. The closest thing nowadays to descending into hell is going shopping. You go to a grocery store, you go to a liquor store, it doesn't matter where you go. Everybody's got on masks. And if people got on masks, all of a sudden think they're immune to this virus. All of a sudden they don't got a six foot nothing. They're coming right at you. Get out of the way. We got things going on. It doesn't matter because I'm wearing a goddamn mask. You know what? You're idiots. You're jerks. You're no good. You got a mask on to protect you from me. Not to protect me from you. Something like that. Anyhow, you're there. The stuff lives on your clothes, not just from your mouth. You still got to keep six feet away. Just don't think you're Superman because you got a mask on. And the hell with everybody else who doesn't have one. Now you should have bought a mask. You know what? Good luck trying to find one. You, you wrap your old your, your sister's old sock around your nose and all of a sudden you think you're invulnerable to disease? What the hell's the matter at you people? I got something to read to you. Yeah, drive me crazy, some folks, you're driving me nuts. Now when they drew near Jerusalem, he came to Beth Abitage at the Mount of Olives, and Jesus sent two disciples. I want you to think about that, right? He sent two disciples. He didn't send them all at once. He didn't get, say, oh, you know, go through the olives, get me some olives, and, you know, the hell with everybody else that might be around you. But today is a uh, promise of new hope, of resurrection, and maybe, just maybe, people will wake up. And not be jerks all the time. Good luck. All right, let's bring in Brother Carlito now. Uh, God bless. Uh, see what the hell's going on for this show. Reverend. Happy God bless, Easter. Brother Carlito. Peace be with you. Happy Easter. Peace be with you as well. I couldn't have said it better myself. What a great opening prayer. I had a, a good friend down in Texas said to me, she goes, Reverend, Reverend Schnorr. Yes. I've noticed. That the nice people are acting nicer, and the assholes are acting assholier. And I think she's absolutely right. And well, this is a girl who does not swear normally. Really? Yeah, people must have got to her. Well, we got a great show going on for us for our we uh, fans today. Well, we got, we got a couple, uh, a lot of happy Easter's coming your way. Oh, nice! Hey, Steve, happy Becky, Stephen, Jimmy. Uh, Good faithful uh, Anthony. We got Joe in the house today. We got a ton of them. I've been trying to get through them, but I was just so tied up in your opening prayer. It just, I just locked in. I feel, I feel a little bit like the lady in the ramper room. I see Steven and Becky and Echo and Joe and Anthony and Jim. Hey, happy Easter, all you. How are you? So here's something for our viewers. Yeah, we, 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 we don't see the hearts coming up a lot on this program. We have to look back at them later. So if you are watching and you don't want to say anything because you're the ones that sit in the back of the church or if you're late to church, you kind of go in the back where the crybaby room is. Give us a thumbs up. Hit send. Reverend wants to call you out and thank you for watching. Also, Absolutely. make sure you hit that share button right now because this is kind of like we're trying to do the coronavirus, right? But the reverse this effect. Is, this is a virus you want to share with your friends. We want it to go viral. And everybody catch it. That should be our so hey, you want to catch something? Catch this. It might make you sneeze, but it won't kill you. I think it's a good slogan. What do you think? All right. All right. Should we move on? Yeah, we got big surprises, so stay tuned. Honest, there's lots of big Why don't surprises. you tell the audience at home what your what you you the Reverend Schnorr. Yeah. With a Commodore 64 computer that's running on a bunch of... Uh, it's built like a brick yep. house. Tell them what you're going to try to attempt. Tell the audience. Well, we, later we're going to attempt... Brother Carlito is going to teach me how to send an email. I got people wanting to hire me for a wedding, but they never heard of me. They want a resume. So I'm going to send them some examples of the work I've done. And Brother Carlito is going to help me send that out in a private email to them folks, and hopefully I get it right. So that's something to stay tuned for, plus TikTok fun and all kinds of things. 
All right. Well, let's get going on. Um, some trending Easter baskets this year. Yeah. What are we? What What is people getting from the the good bunny? Well, this year they're getting toilet paper. I would I would fall in love with the person who dropped that at my house. Clorox wipes. What else we got there? We got a 24 pack of Charmin Essentials. That's the good stuff too. That's not them little Scott towels. The little Scotties and the you can, when you they come in a paper bag. So when you run out of toilet paper, you can wipe with the paper it comes in. But it's got Lysol and bleach and more bleach and more bleach. Lots of bleach and toilet paper. Are you a one ply guy? You're not white guy? when you start. You'd be white when you're done. Are you a one ply guy or a two ply guy? I prefer two or three if they got them, but most places I hang out in, it, it's like a loose leaf. All right, here's a here's a question for our viewers, and you can add your thoughts on this right here. Okay. When you're going number two, yeah, and you have to go and go to the toilet paper roll. Do you roll from the top or is it set reverse and you pull from the bottom? How do you set the toilet paper up at your mom's house? I pick it up off the floor. We keep it either it's on the back of the toilet and you got to do this kind of thing. Or you just pick it up here or you know that spinny thing is supposed to go on? Yes, it's, it's a white thing. It's got the spring. If you try to do it and change it while you're on the pot and that thing shoots out and the shit flies everywhere. Right. So that's why I just kind of balance it on top of that thing. All right. Very good. Let's see what our uh, fans say here. Over or under? All right. Yeah, over or under? That... Now, if we can we can place bets, it looks like the over or under is on over. Oh, look at that. How's, how's that for hearts? Look at that. Sending hearts. Where? Where's hearts? Right oh, there. yeah. It's great for hearts. Echo Catholic Cross England. God bless you. KJ's got something. Let's see you got to say here. Hey, Rev. Hey, Kevin Williams again. Shout out. Shout out, mate. Happy Easter to you too. I just sent you, I just sent you uh one of those private messages too, just before we got on, because I saw that uh that you'd sent that. Thank you very much. And happy uh, Easter, buddy. Pull Steven. Poor, poor Steve. What is Steve? His biz basket wasn't that high. He only got a comb and some floss picks. I didn't know Steve had teeth. I uh, I didn't know he flossed, but I hope he's not one of them guys. Those floss picks are cool, but you keep seeing them in parking lots everywhere. Who the hell is going and flossing their teeth in the in the parking lot at the Walgreens or whatever? Anyhow, let's move on, shall we? We got a big show, and we got to get to the ending because, quite frankly, we rehearsed this, and you screwed up every time. So I did. I just want to say Happy Easter, Derek. I mean, Josh. Happy Easter. And for all those non-Catholic watchers, viewers, from the we're other clergy, Christians. if we you want... Gentiles. Right, but they're still fans. Right. Yes, we have this for you. You can look up, uh, thanks to Brother Joe sent us in today via the Reverend Schnorr email. There you go. Well, you want to know what today's all about. Jesus Christ, he died. He was only 33. Think about that, huh? So that is basically Christianity in a nutshell. You should read that, think about it, and maybe convert. I do baptisms on the side. Uh, and we, we can virtual baptize you too. Brother Carlito will drive me past your house with my super soaker. Mm. There you go. Your in the name, of, name of the Father, the Son, and the... All right. Um, any weddings on the docket coming up? No, not yet. No weddings on the DACA yet coming up. Uh, but, you know, there's hope. I want to email me if you got a wedding coming up. You want to virtual get married. I don't know how you do that legally, but I'll do the ceremony for you. Uh, you know, the thing about wedding season is coming up in June. Imagine you pay all that money for you get a hall or you get a barnyard or something. And you're ready to go. You got kids coming through the alley and then you invite them in. You can't do that this year. You got to socially distance yourself from everyone but your old lady. And at that point, you don't want to social distance from her yet. You will down the line, but not yet. And it's it's going to be tough wedding season. All right. Tell me something you've done from the yesterday's show to today. Did you educate yourself? Did you read a newspaper? Did you do anything? Did I you... did. Wait a second. 
I did something. You yeah, told me about yesterday. Well, didn't you perform something? You were telling me. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I got. I thought there was one more meme. Never mind. Yes, I did. We had. Yeah. We had a good idea from a viewer last week that I should go out and perform an exorcism on Rona. I did that. I went out and I tried to exercise the Roma and get rid of it so everybody can be good. And I did that today. And we'll find out if it took tomorrow, but I hope I did a good job. Well, you got video of it. All right, we're here today and we're going we're gonna to exercise this whole Rona thing going on here. Rona virus, you listen to me. I didn't see Sir Sunday, we're going to get rid of you. I mix up the holy juice here. We're going to let it comply. Be gone with you. Be gone with you. Be gone with you. Be gone with you. Be gone with you, Rona virus. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone with you. I think that ought to do it. Maybe one little thing here in the book. Then the third day of the week began, Mary Maglin and the other Mary come to see the tomb. You think about that, everyone at home, and you think about that Rona virus, you're out of here now. You go on, it's the hot breath of God that's going to come down and go away. And we can go back to the bar and back to life like it should be. God bless. Hey, look, it's the mayor. She's gonna get. I'm gonna get in trouble for being out. Oh, she's just getting her hair done. Never mind. Okay, we're safe. There she is. There's the mayor, Lightfoot, telling Christ to get back in the tomb because of the virus. Right there. She ain't playing. It's only a party of one. It's a party. Well, she knows that he's probably got twelve buddies going to meet him. Twelve. Yeah, but I thought one was a backstabber. Oh, yeah. He hung himself right after uh, at this point. So, 11 buddies and Mary Magdalene and the other Mary. It's 13. So, she's, yeah, she wants Jesus Christ to social distance, too. It's a good thing he doesn't listen to Mayor Lightfoot. But uh, we're going to take a look at some of uh, our friends here in the, in the crowd, see what else is going on. Yeah, let's see who's uh, mentioning. Who's Sheila Marie? Look at that, bunny oh, ears. Hello. Happy Bunny, Sheila Marie. I like that. I just got, uh, I hope, uh, what, what, what? what's this one right here? I can't even oh. see anymore. I hope that was just holy water and you weren't wasting booze. Uh, I would never waste booze. I don't do it. Well, I mean, there might have been a little bit in there, but nothing, nothing, none of the good stuff, none of the Tito's that we got for nothing. Well, KJ's got one, something else coming for you here. Oh, boy. Congratulations, KJ. You find a girl. I'm I'm ready for a wedding whenever you are. You just let me know. And yes, I feel if I drink the virus, this is like a flu shot. You take a little bit of the flu and the shot every year to become so immune to it. A denoculation. Look at this. God bless you, my friend. God bless you, Stephen Spurlock, Elisa, and Barry Huffman. Hello. God bless you. Happy Easter, Sheila Marie. I think we got lots of people watching us. TJ the Bumbleo is back. All right. God bless you, TJ. And Dawn. All right. So next. Uh, Wait, you know what, Rev? What do we do? Tell the viewers what you're trying to learn. Like we told you at the beginning of the show, I'm trying to learn computer stuff. I want to get hip with the kids and whatnot. And Brother Carlito yesterday told me about this girl. She goes on the little phone thing. Does it's called TikTok, and she goes on her and she just lip syncs to other people's music and dances a little bit. She got 47 million people follow her and lots of money in the bank. So I'm getting on that bandwagon pronto. So I tried my hand at TikTok for the first time last night when we got off the air. Let's see if you like it. I'm gonna. I'll be all in clover, and when the 
So I'm thinking by tomorrow I should have a couple million viewers. You know, I don't expect 47 million right away, but a couple million uh, once that gets out there into the into the atmosphere, I should have plenty of people following me on the ticker tocker, and I get uh, you know I should get some money in the bank. I would think for that. And how do you not? I think I did it right. I made up the moves myself. Not bad. And what was the song you were singing there? Yeah, it's the Easter Bonnet song by uh, the Wizard of Oz girl. Unbelievable. Well, uh, you got some more fans coming in. Hang on. I love you too, Madison Junior. Oh, we got more fans. Yeah. Yeah. Just seeing that. That's a, not a TikTok. You no. can do better than that. Oh, competition, huh? All right, Madison, you're going to have to send me an email and tell me what I'm doing wrong because I want to learn this and learn it right so I can. In fact, you need to make a TikTok and send it to us so that we can put it on the air and learn from it. Look at that, Reverend. Why don't you tell her where to send it? I'm going to have you take the floor for a second. You're going to send that to right there, realrevschnorr at gmail.com, Madison. You send me uh, uh, tips of what I've done wrong and what I need to do right and send me a copy of your TikTok and – Sheila Marie's TikTok, and you guys TikTok and show me how to do it because it's important for me because there's money to be made. Thank you very much, Diane Rodman. Anybody else, too, who's got tips on how to TikTok, send them to me and send me your TikToks so that uh, we can. All right, good. Thank you. Madison is going to, she got me. So we're good. But anybody else, too, if you got tips on how I should tip talk so that I can be uh, world famous again uh, and get bringing millions of dollars this time, it would be wonderful. And I will remember you for always, forever for that. I appreciate that. It's beautiful. I hope everybody's enjoying this Easter Sunday. It was actually supposed it was going to be crappy today, and it turned out to be nice. Well, I'll tell you what. Do you ever TikTok, Brother Carlito? Well, I mean, you showed us last night you did, but you watched that stuff? I I watched a TikTok. Unfortunately, we had a technical difficulty with the next video I wanted to show you, but I'm going to tell you about it, all right? Yeah. It was a good one, too. Yeah, TikToks don't always, what I found out, is the whole music dance and the, the wow and the, and the twitch and stuff. They actually, it, it's becoming more like a social media post, all right? You got that TikTok twitch down. Yeah, this is called the whoa. You put one hand up, one hand down, and you like kind of twist it, right? There you go. Watch yourself. You hurt your neck. These young kids, they know how to get the moves down. Yeah. I'll be in traction for days. But anyways, oh, traction. we'll post this on our social media sites, but this, this lady, Grace, posted this on TikTok. This little old lady, she had a megaphone. Yo, every old lady I've ever had never needed a megaphone. They were loud as hell without it. So as people went by and wished her happy Easter, she yelled on the megaphone. She yelled. She says, I can't wait till this damn thing is over so I could touch people, I could drink with people, and I could have the best life ever. Amen. So I figured why not have our peace shot, our first ever peace shot, to go out to little old Tracy. All right. All right. So, Reverend, everybody yeah. else. Let's grab a little drink. I got a little Egan's here. All right, I got a shot here. Uh-oh, right. Brother Carlito has frozen. My back? You want to build a snowman? Oh, hey. Yeah, so, oh, now I'm frozen. I don't no, know. You're you're right, we're back. You're fine. You're fine. All right, follow like me. Okay. Sorry, you're back. So you could touch me. Grace. So I could touch you. So you could drink with people. So I could drink with people. And so you could have the best life ever. So I can have the best life ever. God bless Grace. Slancho. It was Tracy. Grace is the one that posted it. <laughs> oh. Whatever. All right. We'll do another well, shot for Tracy later. All right. What do you say we get on this email? A lot of people want to see this here. Yeah, let's figure this out. I have trouble. with. I'm going to move closer. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to... Now, I got to make sure that this, I'm afraid of it going public to everybody. Because then I'm going to get messages from like Kenyan princes and stuff looking for a million dollars. If I send them three million, I get a million or something like that. I don't want the hassle. I, I don't want to get my identity. All right. 
dislocated or nothing. I just sent you the link. Now you're going to share the screen just with me. Okay. All right. All right. So. Uh, Let me uh, make sure no. Go out. No, 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 no. Don't, don't screen? touch a damn thing because you put the screen live to everybody. Nah, I'm going to. This, I think. Am I doing this right, Brother Carlito? I don't know what's happening. Uh, I here. I just want to make oh sure. Oh shit! Oh shit! No, no, it's playing everywhere. Where's playing where? Oh come on now! Can I stop this? I don't know if this is oh allowed. Oh my gosh! It's the Reverend Schnorr. Oh brother! I don't know what to do here, Brother Carlito. Don't touch a damn thing. I could. What if I hit this? You must to be ashamed of yourself coming out of your neck like you're a preacher and you're drunk half the I time am. trying to read out of the Bible. Well, I'm drunk. Well, you got lots of answers. Work on my face, Lord. Lord. Thank God I don't have to touch him to rebuke him. You got six. <laughs> six toes is a sign of Satan. That's my six toes. That's five. All that time you said he was a devil, you're the devil. Nah. You got toes growing out where toes don't supposed to grow out. You, where do you go preaching? I go, I, I go where the Lord sends me. I go to the nursing homes and I go to the min prison ministry sometimes. Well, those are two places I try to stay out of. <laughs> Last talk I had with my dad, he called me a tramp and told me he'd f me up next time he seen me. Are you a tramp? No. Well, if she's not a tramp, why are you going to do that to her? Wait, you're pregnant. Are you married? No. Well, you were right then. <laughs> now, after the Sabbath, it was the first day of the week began. And Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. So I think that should probably help you guys out. <laughs> but, but you, hey, I'm the Reverend Schnorr. I'm not going to steer you wrong, pal. All right? God bless you. <laughs> if I say there's a God, there's a God. All right? All right. You believe me? Yeah, I believe you. You trust me? I trust you. You give me a ride home? <laughs> sure. All right, then. Let's get on with the ceremony. Just listen, I've been listening to what you had to say. You went to pimping school. You must not have done too good because she <laughs> says. I ain't going to pimping school. She I'll says school. you don't take any of her money. You say you only sleep with one hooker, and the only Cadillac you got is a picture you drew yourself. <laughs> Stand up, please. We need to take care of this. Because I got to undo what you done did. Because if this young lady goes home and starts walking the streets, we're in trouble. She had plenty of money, Reverend. Take out of this young lady all the hooker that he put into her. So that she can be good again. <laughs> I'm not sure if it really took. So what I want you to do is after the show, I want you to come see me. <laughs> and we'll go over in private and make sure it took really good. Okay? Okay. okay God bless you. Oh, thank you. I brought my Hindu friend Lala again with me. You brought your Hindu friend Lala. Lala. Maharaja Pandit Patwa Lala Lala. What? Whatever. Hey, this is happening. The word of God can go through you. I don't care how fat you are. Here you go. Here you go. Don't you touch that book. Get your mother's weed. She should get her the hell out of here. Huh?